the wonderful and distinctive sights and sounds of Delhi, a vibrant city where culture and tradition blend so effortlessly with the modern world. A very warm welcome to the Surrey Court Sports Complex here in Delhi for finals day at the Yonex Sunrise India Open. Uh, this event is the second event on the 12 tournament MetLife BWF World Super Series. Of course, the Super Series, the elite tier of tournaments in the world of badminton. And of course, at the end of the year, we have the Super Series Finals. And the Super Series Finals, once again this year, will be in Dubai. Just the top eight players and pairs in each of the five disciplines will qualify for the Destination Dubai Super Series Finals in December. It's already been held there twice, and it really has been a huge success. Well, that's the end of year climax to the Super Series. And of course, it's finals day today. We start with women's doubles, and for the only the fourth time in the history of the Super Series, it's an all-Japanese women's doubles final. The defending champions, Matsutomo and Takahashi, are up against Fukuman and Yono, who are today in their first ever Super Series tournament final. Then two pairs in the mixed doubles who have never won a Super Series title. One of them will go away with the title today. Will it be the Indonesians, Woody Anto and Dili, or will it be the Chinese pair of Liu Kai and Wang Yaxiong? Then men's doubles and a repeat of the 2015 Southeast Asian Games final. The gold medalists, Pratama and Suwadi, in their second final in two weeks, up against Fernaldi and Sukamoldo. Then women's singles and two former champions here, a repeat of the 2013 World Championship final. Rachanuk Intanon, the former world champion, up against Ali Shwere, the reigning Olympic champion. Then it's men's singles, our last final of the day, a repeat of the Destination Dubai Super Series final from last December. Victor Axelson, last year's beaten finalist here in India in his sixth Super Series Tournament Final, still looking for his first ever title. He's up against Momoto from Japan, a man who has never lost a final that he has contested. That really is quite a record. So our first final is the women's doubles. And as you can see, the number one and the number two seeds both beaten in the semi-final stage yesterday to set up this all-Japanese women's doubles final. So our first final of the day, the defending champions, the number three seeds, Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi up against the unseeded Naoko Fukuman and Kurumi Yonao. So the defending champions Saki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi. Now, Fukuman uh, and Kurumi Yonao. What an occasion for them. A first ever Super Series tournament final. Of course, they really shot to stardom when they won a bronze medal at last year's World Championships in Jakarta. And that in itself was fairly extraordinary because they won a bronze medal at World Championship before they got beyond the second round of any Super Series tournament that they had played. The 
the defending champions. And a pair who have never previously been in a Super Series tournament a final. Takahashi, blue or white? White. So white, this side. Who serves or receives? Service. So the defending Pokemon champions, serves. Who receives? Matsutomo and Takahashi, Ayaka receive. All right. trying to become the first non-Chinese women's doubles pair to win back-to-back -back women's doubles Super Series titles. Because, of course, uh, they won the All England Championships. So we're looking at Kurumi Yona, the 23 year old. She and her partner, currently number nine in the world ranking, and they did spend six weeks at the end of last year, beginning of this year, as number eight in the world uh, ranking. So to her partner, who turned 24 last month, now called Fukuman. Started off as a singles player, won a bronze medal in the World Junior Championships of 2010 in Guadalajara. Now, uh, they've beaten two seeded pairs on their way through to today's final in the second round. The number six seeds, Jung Kyung Ung and Shin Sang Chan. And then in the semi final yesterday, uh, they defeated the number two seeds, the 2013 beaten finalists here in India, Christina Peterson and Camilla Aruta. You needed three games for that semi final victory yesterday, an hour and 14 minutes. So there is uh, Misaki Matsutomo. Uh, 24 years of age from Fukushima, northeast of Shikuku Islands. Number one in the world ranking. And they are four times winners of Super Series titles. Not quite sure what the WSS means, but women's doubles four titles that they've won but this is their 14th super series tournament final today well they had a real battle yesterday against the number one seeds Nidia Krasinda Nefeswari and Gracia Folly they were well up in the deciding game 13-7 but it was awfully close as you can see in the end 23-21 in an hour and a half. So this is the fifth meeting between these two pairs. Last time they met was in the group stage of the Destination Dubai Super Series Finals at Ready the end of last year. And then you can see that the defending champions winning in two straight games. Sudip Bave of India are umpire for this one, Khrai Sang Tongtap of Thailand, our service judge. So for Matsutomo and Takahashi, as we look at their opponents, yeah, they are the only defending champions taking part in today's final, so the only players who could possibly defend the title that they won last year. I'm not quite sure what the 
delay is for. Maybe some spotlights on. Yes, there are some spotlights on. I can see I'm across ready. the stadium, and that poor gentleman is struggling to to see because the lights are right in his eyes, which means that it will be very, very difficult for the players to see what's going on. When I say this is the fourth time that it's more Japanese women's doubles final, the first time was 2010 Denmark Open, then here in India in 2011, and in 2014 at the Japan Super Series. So this is the fourth time. Ah, now I can see that the lights, the spotlights have been switched off now. Ladies oh. and gentlemen, play. I'm alright. Misaki underway. Matsutomo and Ayaka Takashi, Japan. And on my left, Naoko Fukuma and Rumi Yenau, Japan. Naoko Fukuma to serve to Ayaka Takahashi, love all, play. So the unseeded Naoko Fukuman and Kurumi Yona. Well, it would be understandable if they are a little bit nervous to start One with because this is their first ever Super Series tournament final. Oh, great shot. Lovely defence from Matsutomo. Two. Love. a fourth women's doubles title here at the India Super Series event. Three of the past five India Super Series events won by Japanese pairs. Well, taken. well, I was singing her praises yesterday. I was singing her praises at the All England Three, Matsutomo two. because she has suddenly got confidence in abundance to play from the front of the court. Really hunting the shuttle now. Lots of interceptions. I'm very keen to go forward whenever possible, as we saw in that rally. There was real hesitation uh, between Fukuman so and you now. I think they were both leaving it for the other, but in leaving it, it was the right decision because it was well long of the back line.
nicely done. Well, I know the last time they played it was two straight games, but I can tell you the time before that, in the quarter-final, quarter-final of the Hong Kong Open 2015, it was an hour and 36 minutes and three games. <laughs> Six, three. Yeah, it's a nice angle. She does work hard at the back of the court. see some very very long rallies four six we had one at 118 shots yesterday Seven, five. Mm, it's a lovely change of pace. Normally, Takahashi prefers to play from the back of the court, but just proving that he can play from the front if required. Yeah, she's got herself to the back again. That's the standard formation. her back to play that one. Oh, well taken. Well taken indeed. Put on me, you now. Six. Seven. Look at that. Round the headshot. Real commitment. Yep. 58 shots. I'm sure that won't be the longest. Okay. Thank you. Yes. Six, seven.
Oh, oh, called a fault. Seven off. Good touch in the shuttle. Tried to intercept. Well, see as I saw it myself, but once the umpire has made the call, made the decision, that's it. Very, very clever smash. Takahashi getting in a bit of a tangle. Eight, seven. Aim towards her left hip when she was defending forehand. And just couldn't make the adjustments. So, first time in this opening game that Fukuman and Yonal have gone into the lead. Finding the mid-court area. Second. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, it's run of four straight points now. It was all set up with a smash across the body of Matsutomo. Ten, this one eight. here. And having been caught on her defence a little bit slow to adjust to that backhand, the only possible reply was a straight block. And it was pounced upon. Taking the shuttle early. And they have the advantage, a three point advantage to be precise. Now, no coaches involved because two pairs from the same nation. So they're left to their own devices. It's a bit like the old days, isn't it? We never had coaches at mid game intervals. We didn't have mid game intervals. You had to work it all out yourself. 20 seconds, 20 seconds, yes. Well, eight of the last 10 points for Fukuman and Yonal. 11, eight. Play. say they should vary the pace of the attack. World number ones. It was all hard smashes. Roughly the same well, pace, roughly eight. the same trajectory. And their opponent's uh, attack at the moment is far more potent.
improve so much. Point. Yeah, but Takahashi once again flat too flat with her Third smash. Third and Fukuman able to just step forward on a crouch defence and hit it back even quicker than it had come at her. She's not the tallest of athletes, 157, 5 foot 2. She doesn't even watch the shuttle as she's serving. Watches her opponent. Mm, that's better attack. Yeah. Right in between her two opponents. No, it's gone wide. We've got the instant review system in place. Four straight points to draw back level. Thirteen all. No, oh, it's not the best of serves. Defense. Matsutomo once again trying to intercept, and I think she's right to try and do that. But just missing it, mistimed it. idea. Oh, 
sword, 15 all. rotational play both pairs but especially Fukuman and Yonao look at that understanding one moves back the other moves forward one slightly out of position the other one moves to cover the other corners of the court mm, now she Lake. twisted her ankle a little bit she was just twiddling that left ankle wasn't she One smash They're down the Yo now backhand side there. Now she goes towards the forehand. And look, she's trying to play still with the backhand action. 16 playing all. an inside out defensive shot. That's why she made the error. backhand my word 70 16 power she generates look at that there's no follow through of the racket at all Goodness. Well, she didn't know anything about that defensive shot. Unbelievable. What a rally. 80. Yeah. Well, it had been an earlier defensive shot that was so extraordinary from Blake. now called Fukuman. Crouch defence. I don't think she was watching the shuttle at all, but somehow made contact. Eighteen, sixteen. The defending champions. Oh, here we go. Madison Thomas says no. Don't want to change the shuttle. Well, Pokemon said that there was a, a feather that was broken. Umpire says play on with the shuttle. Oh well, well. well. Game point. Well, it's a run of five straight points to bring up game point opportunities for last year's champions. Ah! 
Seven, one of the game points squandered with Seventy, error. twenty. Another one. Eighteen. Twenty. Yeah, she knew immediately, didn't she? Hadn't given it enough forward momentum. Saki. You should be ready to receive, right? Oh, the umpire. Telling her to get ready a little quicker. Well, I think that's what he was saying. Couldn't really hear him properly. He was trying to cover his microphone. That's a beautiful block. Beautiful. Yep. Third time of asking, and they convert and take the opening game. 21-18. 26 minutes for game number one. And last year's champions on course to retain their title. Twenty seconds. Well, of course, Twenty Matsutomo seconds. and Takahashi, their teammates, won this India Super Series event twice. Miyuki Maeda and Satoko Tsutsuna won in both 2011 and 2013. So can they become the second Japanese pair to win this title twice? Second this game. title, of course. Love all. Play. a happy hunting ground this India Super Series for players to win a first ever Super Series title it's happened ten times over the past five years it's going to happen again this year because it's bound to happen in the mixed doubles because neither of the mixed doubles pairs has won a Super Series title previously as a mixed doubles pair It's happened twice before One in the more. women's doubles. 2012, Korean pair, Jung Kung and Kim Hana won their first ever Super Series title here. And then two years ago, Tang Hyun Ting and Yu Yang was their first ever tournament together. And they won the title.
drive defence and then the movement forward from Matsutomo just a whole different attitude in the way she plays now what she looks for when she tries to attack and has made her in my opinion a much much better player She telegraphed pretty much. Matsu Tomo knew it was coming. Step forward into it. Six, one. So trying to play the inside out backhand there. You see it's gone Seven. around her forehand One. side, but she's still trying to play it with the backhand action. And eventually you get in a bit of a tangle. No <laughs> serve is short. Seven sore. I think that's her first service Two. error, isn't it? I Seven. think it might be the first service error of the match. Opportunities early in the rally did Matsutomo and Takahashi kept coming back so then they just Eight, two. rebuilt the whole rally no panic oh, Mr. Ben Yoniyama president of Yonex company and his wife delighted to see them here in Delhi She just doesn't have the same killer instinct. Oh, there's a bit of luck there from Matsutomo. I was about to say Takahashi. Oh, and she's at the front of the court. She'll play a nice little block, as she does here. But doesn't really look to kill the shuttle the way her partner does nowadays. Now, that was a little bit of luck, wasn't it? Nothing wrong with that. We all need a little bit of luck on occasions. Oh, 
that's the one. That's the one. Not such a loopy drop shot there Ten, from Takahashi. Two. And perfect, perfect placement. Oh, they really are steaming ahead with this second game, having taken the first. World number ones. Well, oh, now that's better. More commitment from Takahashi at the front. Previous shot of hers. problem with crouch defense how do you play one hit down your backhand side the defending Seven. champions with a six-point advantage Seven, here at the mid-game in the book or game number two. First time Super Series tournament finalists, but at the moment it doesn't look like it's quite good enough. I think the experience of this pair, Masaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi, and the decisive factor. Service error. Six, eleven.
look at her movement again. That little adjustment. 12, 6. Keep on the move. And therefore, much easier to make the interception. Come back in. Oh, misjudgment there from Yona. Well, from looking at that, it looks to me as if the sideways drift has changed from how it's been all week. We were on finals day, like it's going in the opposite direction. Wasn't the best of serves from Yo now. Really got an error on the return. Really want the low serve to be skimming. This is why we call it a low serve because it skims low over the net, landing towards that front service line. Nine. No, that was a lovely serve. the week I've been saying that the drift goes from left to right and therefore that one would have been taken wide but today it's certainly not the case totally different Good rally again, isn't it? Beautiful. Beautiful. Two smashes down the Superman forehand side. She tries to play the so second four. one with the backhand action and then a little block. Yeah, look at the reactions. They were saying to themselves, what on earth do we have to do to Play. win a rally?
Oh, we had one at 58 in the opening game, didn't we? Yes, thank you. Yes. Fourteen, ten. idea. I like the fact that she was trying to go for a more acute so angle on the attack and not 11, so powerful. 14. This one here, they are just slicing across it, but obviously making the error. That's proved me wrong. Well done, Takahashi. There's me saying she wasn't Some as sword. aggressive as her partner. The front of the court. She took that Eleven. beautifully early. Racket arm outstretched. Yeah, a little bit fortunate with the net cord, but she created her own luck there. Brilliant. Terrific angle. Yeah, well worked from Kukoman and Yo now. Oh, all credit to them. They are fighting, fighting. 12, 16. Oh, I don't know why I'm surprised. I don't see them. what good fighters they are on court. Championships last year, didn't we? When they beat the number two seeds, the twin sisters from China. two down at the beginning of this second game. Eight points adrift. Now well, there's just two points in it. Quick glimpse of the reigning world junior 14, champions 16. in the women's doubles. <laughs> White. One point in it. is very, very interesting.
as the serves. Oh, that was really got what it deserved. Serves over. 70. 50. man trying to make a difference Ooh, I can tell you there's a bit of a, a discussion once again about whether to change the shuttle or not 18 15 two pairs couldn't agree that the shuttle has been changed three point advantage and three points away from retaining their title the number three seeds oh dear, dear me. That's going to be a third service error. Service over. 16, 18. Delight as she watched the shuttle drop way long of that back line. Just one point the deficit. Again, it was the right idea trying to take the pace out of the shot. Matsutomo. And had it have gone over, I'm sure it would have been a winner. But it didn't go over. And we're all level. What an extraordinary comeback. Those eight points adrift Late. at the beginning of this game. Now, 18 all. Crouch defense, it's the same problem, 18. isn't it? When it's hit down your backhand side, you can't really play a backhand, so it's a very awkward crouch defense forehand shot. And it 99% of the time gets you into trouble.
goodness, it's gone wide. That would have been sensational had that landed in. Look at this desperation defence. That was remarkable. But it was just wide and therefore match point opportunities for Nasaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi. done it they have taken their second consecutive title here in India and as far as this year's Super Series is concerned they've taken their second consecutive title because they won the All England Championships the first of the Super Series last month and now won the second as well and in doing so, they become the first non-Chinese pair to win back-to-back -back women's doubles Super Series titles. What an achievement. Fantastic performance from Misaki Matsutomo and Ayaka Takahashi. Complete symmetry in the scoreline. 21-18, 21-18. A match just three minutes shy of the hour mark the moment of victory two titles here in two years the two titles in the 2016 MetLife BWF World Super Series there's confirmation 57 minutes in total for their victory 21-18 21-18 presentations the women's doubles Thank finalists you. coming up in just a moment and when we talk about back-to-back -back titles it's worth mentioning that Wang Xiao Li and Yu Young in 2011 won five super series titles back-to-back -back in a calendar year they won the Denmark French Hong Kong China and the super series finals that year that was remarkable, wasn't it? Well, of course, Wang Xiao Li last autumn announced her retirement from international badminton. And I'll certainly miss seeing her play. I thought she was very creative. Lovely player to watch. No, Japan have been doing well. Only discipline of the five where they haven't really excelled as yet is the mixed doubles. Call Fukuman and Kurumi Yonao. Well, they'll be disappointed, but a, a first ever Super Series tournament final is something to be proud of. A second consecutive title here at the Yonix Sunrise India Open.
Matsutomo and Takahashi. Not only a second consecutive India Super Series title, a second consecutive Super Series title, having won the All England last month, and a third title this year because not only the two Super Series also won the Malaysian Masters Grand Prix gold.
So our next final is mixed doubles, and it's the unseeded Ricky Widianto and Pospita.